Now friends, as you can see, this entire window belongs to you. This software is open to you and you can see a few points, file, edit, estimatory images and a few icons below it. So let me tell what these actually things they are. Now here, this range type thing which you see, it gives you the basic settings of this Astrometrica. Once you click over it, this is the settings tab that it opens actually. Then I will just explain to you, let me close to it. Now this control plus L and all these things, they belong to this technical details, dark field, flat field. You do not have to worry about it. Now this is the load images. With this control plus L command, you will be importing the images whichever images are stored wherever on your computer system you are going to import all your images with the help of this load images then the next step after looking through the settings you proceed to load the images then the third step which may seem black and white to you but once the images are loaded the, all these commands they become colorful the third step that you will be doing is the astrometric data reduction the uh, this is the crux of you can say the basic uh, heart of the process that you will be doing so in this astrometric data reduction the shortcut keyboard tab is control plus a you put press control and a this data reduction of astrometrica will start then the next sometimes a few advanced users they tend to use stacking of the images because you will be getting four images so if you want to play with their characteristics you can stack the images also. Now here after that stacking is this is the MPC report viewer which is basically present in all almost all the tabs. Here whichever minor planet center report that you have maintained after the analysis of your image sets you can see it that this is the report that you have made with the help of this tab. Now this is again an invert image it is because the images they are provided to you they are present in the black and white format so if you are not comfortable with uh, uh, that sky being white or object being black you can invert it you can make the sky black and object white or sky white object black whichever suits your sense of vision whichever suits your perception of eyes so the beautiful part which you can find is you can invert the color of the images also you just, just imagine making the negative that is whatever is white it will become black and whatever is black will become white. So in that sense you can adjust the images according to your liking also. Then there this is the second after uh, doing settings second one proceeding to load image doing the astrometric data reduction choosing the image with the help of inversion of the image which color likes you then you go for the known object overlay this has got some importance of it i am not going to go into detail because i am just going to see the command line this is the minimum command that you have to follow then you can zoom in to your image or zoom out of your image with the help of this zoom in and zoom out tools and yes you can fit this entire image because your image will be available say of this order of a rectangle you can fit your image to this entire astrometrica window with the help of this fit window option and the last thing that you will be doing is blink the current image you are animating the image it is because one image is over the second over the third over the fourth so four images are provided in one image set so you put one over the other and you move it so entire motion of any object abnormal motion slower than the normal or faster than the normal it can be tracked by animating this path so you can see you are animating the images in animating in the sense you are seeing one image after the second after the third after the fourth so they are quickly bypassing in front of your eyes so if anything bypasses quickly and if any extra movement is there you tend to see that movement and that moving object it may be your asteroid and after this blinking then you go for what you go for the parametrical analysis and then here you can stop blinking here you can start blinking so this is the basic command line that you have to follow minimum commands or you can say the maximum commands that you need to follow for the asteroid search campaign i give you revision settings i will give you prescribe the settings that are required 
from settings you come to load images from load images you select the images from your system you come to the astrometric data reduction after astrometric data reduction what you do is you tend to visualize that a object in front of your eyes whichever color suits you so whichever layout suits you you select with the help of that invert image then known object overlay you do after doing known object overlay that is i will now let me give you in one line known object overlay means there are a few objects which may be known to all of us previously beforehand and you may see them moving also to distinguish the previously known objects from the unknown objects which are also moving you have to select this known object overlay and after known object overlay you can zoom in zoom out and fit window as per the size with the help of these three commands last part is blink the image you animate them with the help of control plus b and you can start and stop blinking with the help of these four commands you can make move step by step forward or step by step backward with the help of this middle arrows or you can all total blink it all the four images or you stop the entire blinking process and after this blinking you tend to analyze the image with the parameters this command they help you identify the moving object the second part is how to identify whether your moving object is really an asteroid or not that is all totally different case but this is the command line so settings load image then you do astrometric data reduction after astrometric data reduction select the layout by invert image whichever suits you if you are comfortable no inversion of the image then no object overlay then blinking this is what the basic blink utility of the manual search of astrometrica is all about thank you thanks a lot